Time to go. <laughs> hey, little birdie, don't feel down. Come and perch on my shoulder. Really? No wonder they never pay attention to me. Uh, forget it. I probably shouldn't be anthropomorphizing them anyway. Haven't seen you in some time. To which one of the Animo Archons wins do I owe the honor? Oh, is this your way of saying that you missed me? Since it wasn't meant to be with this little birdie, I'd better leave it alone. Let's take a walk, shall we? If you're wondering why I'm here, Jean's been worrying about trade safety recently. I discovered this when I unwittingly burst into her office to save the day. Another job involving long distance travel falls to me. I suppose it's... Still, on the bright side, business is now taken care of. And I have unused travel funds, so I was planning to... Gundafar, we are in the middle of a war. Your place is at the front lines by my son's side. Pray tell, what provokes your unwarranted return to the palace? A matter of utmost importance, your majesty such that I must personally report it to you. Huh. Outdoor theater. Looks fun. Ah, yes. Here's what I was thinking about the unused funds. Given that the acting Grand Master saw fit to allocate these funds to my trip in the first place, I think it's my responsibility to make sure that every last Mora is put to good use. In other words... What do you say we find a way to spend the remaining budget? Perhaps a fancy meal at a nice restaurant? Or a river cruise that takes in the sights of Sumeru City? Or we could buy a few nice mementos to take home. Hey, no need to put it like that. Let's keep walking. We can consider it some more on the road. The rules of the Knights of Favonia state that any and all expenditures during a business trip are counted as travel expenses. That's more than enough justification to live a little. Of course, with me being here on my own, it was looking like a wasted opportunity. But now that I've run into you, why don't we make this a joint trip? Time to go. It's high time you gave yourself a proper break. 
Even the sharpest blade loses its edge if it's always in use. Regular maintenance is essential for reliable performance. And anyway, life is short, so we should make the most of the time we have. Right now is the perfect time to relax and enjoy ourselves. And who knows how many other chances we'll get. So come on, what do you say? <laughs> now I remember why you're an honorary knight. Of course being tempted by money is beneath you. Your honest character is dazzling to behold. Like the sunlight reflecting off the surface of Cider Lake in the late fall, I hold my hands up. My thinking was mistaken. In that case, I guess today's end-of-trip blowout is cancelled. I shall pack my luggage and prepare to return to Mondstadt. Oh, you'd do that for me? Well, this wasn't what I'd originally planned, but it's a very welcome development. When I was souvenir shopping, I picked out something for you, too. Guess my thoughtfulness wasn't in vain. Let's keep that a secret for now. Not because I want to keep you guessing. It's just that I didn't think I'd run into you here. All my gifts are back at the inn. I want you to find out for yourself when you open it. The surprise is what gift-giving is all about, is it not? Then it's settled. We'll leave together shortly. Look, Mondstadt's windmills. Ah, such a comforting sight. Now, as promised, your souvenir. Here you go. According to the merchant I bought it from, mysterious spirits called Jinn often live in lamps like this. And this lamp in particular once housed a very powerful genie. Merchants love to exaggerate to help make a sale, but it's still quite the pretty little lamp. I know you like rare things, so perhaps you can add this to your collection. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. I'm ready to head into the city now. You're free to join me, or you can make your own schedule. I could give everyone their souvenirs first, but I'm not sure whether I'm in the mood for running around and visiting people right after the long journey. Maybe I'll take a breather first. But I know I'll only get bored sitting in my room alone. Ugh. Do you have any suggestions? I'm honored to have such a caring friend. Hmm. Let's go to the plaza in front of the cathedral. We can listen to the bards. After so long in Sumeru, I've begun to miss that slow-paced and relaxed atmosphere. There's no rush. We can take our time and stroll on over. <sighs> Port Ormos is always lively, even late into the night. 
people there go to bed much later than I imagined. Quite a stark contrast with Mondstadt. People pray and play music in the Cathedral Plaza during the day, but come nighttime, the streets are deserted except for the knights on patrol. Good question. Life in Sumeru is never dull. Last time I was out drinking on the street at night, some passing mercenaries invited me to dance. Although, I did learn later that that kind of thing is highly unusual even there. <laughs> they must have been in a very good mood that night. They taught me a lot of songs that they usually sing during feasts. It really was a fun night. But, be that as it may, I think I'm more suited to the free and easy life in Mondstadt. Simple, honest folks like me, we don't need much to be content. Fair enough. Let's shelve that discussion for now. Have you ever had a chance to hear the cathedral choir before? The hymns they sing are a whole tradition in their own right. Quite different from the folk songs that the bards play. Well, let's see if we can catch them today. Sister Grace is right there, so we can ask her about the choir's schedule. Excuse me, Sister Grace. Does the church choir have any performances coming up soon? Oh, I'm so sorry. The hymn concert we previously announced has unfortunately been pushed back. Oh? What's the story there? As you probably know, Captain Kaya, we've been trying to organize an amateur choir in addition to the regular church choir. Ah, uh, yes. I heard about that. I believe the plan was ultimately to have different choirs who can take turns to perform hymn concerts. Yes, exactly. Well, it turns out there are plenty of believers who are good singers and interested in joining a choir. So, in theory... It should have been a simple case of getting everyone in the same room, then practice, practice, practice. But, for some reason, the rehearsals are going terribly. I don't understand it. Everyone in the choir has a basic level of musical literacy, but they sound awful together. It's like everyone's trying to do their own thing. There's no group harmony. Oh, maybe I'm just not musically gifted enough to give them the guidance they need. Captain Kaya, I know you like listening to hymns. How good is your understanding of vocal music? Me? <laughs> music is far from my forte. But if you need some help, then don't worry. I know an expert who's more than up to the task. Thank you so much, Captain Kaya. Having some expert guidance will definitely be a great help. I'm sure you've figured out who this expert is already. He has the best singing voice of any poet in Mondstadt, and understands poetry better than any other singer. Plus, he's exceptionally easy to find. Nine out of ten times, he's in the tavern. Time to go. <laughs> Good day. Drinking alone? I hope you don't mind us joining you. Hello, hello! Please, take a seat. <laughs> We're all friends here. Patton. One moonlit alley, and an apple cider. Ooh, excellent choices! Come on, let's have a toast and drain our glasses together. Here's to the time spent drinking with friends, which is more unforgettable than the drinks are delectable. <laughs> 
Ever the poet, Professor Venti. A beautiful toast from the bard with the most. Any new songs of yours we could listen to? There's a real dearth of quality entertainment at the moment, since the cathedral's choir performance has been delayed again. Speaking of which, I trust you've heard Sister Grace's choir perform before? Of course! Though the format is a little on the formal side, they do sing quite beautifully. <laughs> Very pleasant to listen to. So you'd say you enjoy listening to hymns? Hmm, let me think. Well, however it's expressed, as long as you can hear the singer's passion and joy in their voice, I consider it a phenomenal performance. Passion and joy, huh? An intriguing perspective. By this logic, I suppose Lord Barbados would also enjoy the choir's performances. Oh? And why is that? Think about it. It's only because of his patient guidance and protection that the people of Mondstadt can now sing such beautiful hymns in the cathedral. It must be quite satisfying for him to hear a joyful people lift up their voices in song. Yes, well, that's a beautiful image filled with hope. But actually, maybe Barbados himself doesn't give it so much thought. In principle, the hymns of the cathedral are dedicated to a god. But in reality, the audience are all ordinary people with very worldly concerns. So what really matters is that the people enjoy what they're listening to. Hmm. <laughs> if Sister Grace was able to see things that way, perhaps she wouldn't feel so distressed. Huh? Distressed? About what? Ugh, she might be asking a bit too much. To be honest, if they have a natural talent for music, they should just be allowed to sing whatever they want. It'll all sound good. Uh, I'm pretty sure the first people to sing songs to the Animal Archon weren't all singing the same tune. Besides, he is the god of freedom. Surely he'd prefer to hear Mondstatters sing their hearts out however comes naturally to them. Well, to each their own, I say. But Sister Grace seems quite bothered by the whole thing. If only a kind soul with a deep understanding of poetry and music could help her. Patton! More drinks? Uh-oh. <laughs> I only brought enough money for one bottle today. I'll have to pass. Another bottle of apple cider for Venti, please, Patton. My treat. Wow! <laughs> Thanks, Kaya. Ah, you were one of the finest students ever to emerge from my fast-track love poetry class. I always did admire your enthusiasm and kindness. With the aid of this bottle, a humble bard's woes are whisked away on the wind. And so it falls to this humble bard to pass the blessing on to another. <laughs> then this is probably the single most worthwhile alcohol purchase I've ever made. With your help, Sister Grace's problems are as good as solved. Sister Grace is a devout follower of the Animo Archon. Perhaps it's her depth of devotion that causes her to worry too much about the smallest things. Don't worry. Just wait a moment. I'll go find her. Right after I finish this cider. <laughs> The next time you visit her, our sweet sister shall be sad no more. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. This blade. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth.
Hello, Sister Grace. How are the rehearsals going? Captain Kaya, your bard friend has a few suggestions that are somewhat fanciful in nature. Uh, fanciful in the sense of not worth adopting? Is that what you mean? Everyone in the choir loves to sing, but they're used to singing their favorite songs. Suddenly asking them to sing in perfect harmony like a church choir with years of experience is just too difficult. So, why ask them to adjust to the demands of those staid old church hymns when you could just create a new song for them? One that they'll be able to grasp quickly? <laughs> if you want, I could help. Church choirs typically stick to traditional hymns. This is certainly an innovative idea. What's stopping you from considering it, Sister Grace? While I don't expect a recently established amateur choir to perform on par with our own church choir, this would be a major departure from tradition. I'm just not convinced that it's appropriate. <laughs> Is the Church of Favonius really such a stickler for tradition? Giving believers the chance to express themselves freely seems like it would be a very positive thing. So, Venti. Do you think the Animo Archon would like to hear a new melody? Of course! This was the wish of the people when New Mondstadt was first founded. Okay, well let's see what our other friend thinks. Traveler, what are your thoughts? Another vote of confidence. Maybe there's hope for this idea yet. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just a generational thing, but... Oh, well, it's not a completely unreasonable idea. I suppose it can't hurt to try. Looks like we're all in favor then. So let's start preparing. Sister Grace, could we trouble you to inform the choir members? Of course. I'll tell them now, and then we'll give this a try. Should we find some people to help us compose the lyrics? If this is to be a new song of the people, then the more fresh ideas we have, the better. Good idea. Let's split up and find some contributors, Traveler. Hmm, let me think. Since we're composing a song, we should try and recruit at least one person who understands music. Aha, I know. Sister Grace, how would you feel about us asking Sister Barbara to provide her input? Given that the idea is to write a song dedicated to Lord Barbados, I'm sure Sister Barbara would be very willing. Perfect. Traveler, why don't you head into the cathedral and invite Sister Barbara to join us? I'll look for another friend who's interested in helping us. Fortunately, I have some time to spare at the moment. What is it? Oh, I see! What an interesting idea! The hymns we know today have been passed down to us through the ages. Very few people would ever think to create a new one. But as long as we put our hearts into it, and write with reverence and devotion, Perhaps our new song can become part of the tradition that is passed on, and bring joy to future generations. I never imagined that the Bard would come up with such an amazing suggestion. I'd really love to be a part of this. Sure, let's go there together right now. You're here. You took your sweet time. I 
I've seen Kaya play Genius Invocation TCG making up a bunch of baloney to distract his opponents. <laughs> He's a trickster, plain and simple. So now, I gotta check with you guys to see if what he's saying is true. Can we really write about anything we want in this song? Even the evils of Mondstadt's wine industry? And is the choir really gonna perform it publicly? <laughs> so everyone on the streets will hear it? I don't think anything's off limits. I thought it was a fun idea anyway. <laughs> then I want to write this. All these hands will be punished harshly by Lord Barbados. <laughs> uh, that's a very novel idea indeed. I'm used to just humming to myself while I work. So after Sister Grace criticized us for not singing in harmony, I was planning on quitting the choir. I never thought we'd be able to just sing what we wanted. Whew, what a relief. Plus, we get to write a song with Sister Barbara. I'm so honored. Thank you, everyone. Why don't we start by picking a theme for this song? I agree. Traditionally speaking, the theme should be Praise be to the gentle and loving Lord Barbados. I expect that Professor Venti might feel that topic is overdone and lacks originality, and that it may not be to Lord Barbados' liking. That's Kaya for you. Got it in one. I'd suggest that everyone start by thinking of the little things in life that bring you joy. Ooh, well then can I praise the perfect fish head soup my mom cooked last night? Of course you can. I think I'd like to rejoice in the precious days spent together with family. Let us praise Mondstadt, the city that allows us to sing freely. See? Already we have lots of wonderful ideas. <laughs> Let's write them down, and then Kaya can... Uh, uh huh? Kaya? Time to go. What are you doing here? Didn't want to participate in the discussions? I just wanted to take you to hear a performance. But that obviously didn't happen, thanks to the problems with the choir rehearsals. The rehearsals are now back on track, so I've done my part. If I stay here any longer, I'll probably get roped into singing with them. I'd rather it didn't come to that. My songwriting abilities are limited. If doing nothing but loitering on the plaza enjoying the scenery all day is the only way to relax, then I suppose I didn't get to relax. But that would get boring after a while. To me, it's more fun to wander around, see what's happening, and insert myself into interesting situations. Besides, can you be so sure I didn't have something to gain from helping Sister Grace with her choir rehearsal dilemma these past few days? Oh, -ho! I spy two naughty students skipping class, and they just so happen to be the very two who asked me to help Sister Grace in the first place. We're ready to review and discuss everyone's lyric contributions now. Hey, why is it that you look like you're trying to run away? I still recall the teachings of Professor Venti. The Animo Archon cares not about how moving the people's songs of praise are, but rather whether or not the song comes from the heart. With so many true believers gathered together earnestly writing a song for him, I'm sure the Animo Archon is watching on and feels very satisfied. That's what a song of worship is all about. So, mission accomplished. And that's the reason you've decided to leave? Slipping away before the final verse is sung, before the poet has uttered the last line, before everything has concluded. I don't know. Something about it just resonates with me. Oh no. <laughs> You've seen right through me. Wow, that was a craftily crafted speech. I almost fell for it. 
But to share all this with a group of friends, only to find myself one friend short before the final verse is sung, before the poet has uttered the last line, before everything has concluded... I don't know. Something about it just irritates me. If you don't want to write a poem, then let me gift you one. Ah! <clears throat> Abandoned to whatever fortune the cruel waters bring, bereft of control, directionless I swing. The swift currents surge, and onward I urge, through the snow and frost that fall and winter bring. Majestic waves cresting, surf roaring its tail, none but the ocean to hear as I sing. The stars in my eyes as I chart toward the horizon, that into one day from the endless dome of night I shall spring. If you are a chaser of freedom, the Animal Archon will bless you. So why not let those feelings out and sing with everyone? A boat that has come unmoored will not get lost in the night, but sail towards the dawn. A beautiful image. Of course, you don't have to believe in it, but the winds of Mondstadt will guide every lost ship back to safe harbor. Well, after a fine poem like that, it would be plain rude of me not to rejoin you. <laughs> Let's head back together. You two of all people have to be there for the grand finale. <laughs>